Hey, what's up guys? Black Sheep here, and today I'm going to be breaking this retail blaster of leather and lumber. I've seen the hobby version at the store. Not the store, the hobby store that I go to, DMP Sports Cards here in Sacramento. But this one is a retail box that I got at Target in Sacramento. And uh, this one has one autograph or memorabilia card per box on average. And this is new for 2019, as it says. And it also says, look for blaster exclusive base bats. So I've always thought Panini did a really good job with um, retail stuff. They do tend to give out a lot of hits in retail. And so um, I'm excited to see what's in this box and what you can get here. So let's go ahead and slice and dice this box open and uh, see if anything good comes out. There's only 10 cards in this box, so and it feels really light. It doesn't feel like there's a lot of packs in it at all. So we'll see how we do in this particular retail review. Look at that, two packs. That's it, it looks like one's thicker, obviously thicker than the other. So um, we'll open the non-thick one first, and then we'll see what comes out of it. Ooh, these are really nice cards. I mean, I'm trying to shine this light on it, but they're very embossed with foil and embossing. Just a really good looking card. This is a Bat Patrol of Christian Yelich. Really nice looking card. And there's the back BP14. Here's another very shiny card, Life on the Edge. It's hard to make out uh, the name. Kyle Freeland. These are really nice. Slugfest of Frank Thomas. Let's see if I can get that focus back. There we go. Again, embossed, really nice. Um, equalizers, Ken Griffey Jr. And then Starling Marte, Leather and Lumber Hit and Run. Again, embossed. So a lot of embossed stuff here. Really, really cool. Okay, let's go to this next pack. Five cards per pack. Looks like there's a hit. Um, probably a mem card of some sort. It's a really thick card. Hey, I think this is that um, retail exclusive. What what do they call it? Oh, ah. <laughs> Almost dropped the entire camera. That would have been bad. Uh, hey, it's the one on the box. Blaster exclusive base bats. And it's the one right there with Otani. So that's really cool. Otani base bats. Oh, I got another one. Maybe these are really easy to get. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, let's see. And then Joey Gallo. Another base bat. And then we got this big giant thing. I'll leave it there. Francisco Lindor. Corey Kluber. And what is this? Oh, it's just a... Uh, it's numbered 91 of 349. Now, it's really thick. But, um... I don't think there's anything, like, really special about it. It looks like there's a little doodad on it. I don't, I don't know if that's part of it. It looks like it's a scratch, but... Um, Eric Thames. Leather and Lumber Jersey card. Number 91 of 349. So, obviously, I think you could have had, like, a patch or something in here, and it'd be better, but... Or a better version of the card, but it's a very, very thick card. It's game used. Guaranteed by Panini. So there you have it. Thanks for watching, guys. That was kind of a fun break. Um, it's nice to kind of get a new product like this at retail. And, um, you know, I was talking to a shop owner at DMP, and they're saying, like, this is kind of a hot and cold product. Some people like it. Some people really don't like it. But I think at retail, it really works because um, I know the, the hobby version is really expensive. So... <coughs> Excuse me. Um, maybe at retail, it works a little bit better for a higher-end retail product. 
Thanks for watching. This has been Retail Review number four. I will see you next time.